Uh, we need to watch the Star Wars Christmas special. Uh, it's past, man. No, no, it's never too late to watch the Star Wars Christmas special. <laughs> uh, we need to do this. We need this in our lives. I've only ever seen clips. We need to watch it. Can we do a commentary? Oh yeah, if you want, I'm down. Yeah, nice. I'm I don't totally think down. it's I don't think it's regulated. Like I don't think anybody. No, nobody wants to touch it. Yeah. So. Yeah. You should so just, 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 just record the whole thing and re-upload it. I don't think anyone yeah. fuck with that. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. Amazing. Um, until until the uh, mouse lawyers show up at our door. And... <laughs> oh, right. Jeez, <laughs> they even want anything to do with it. <sighs> yep. You never know, man. That's, yeah. the, that's the great thing about uh, copyright law. Is they, yeah. Somebody at Disney could wake up tomorrow and be like, Star Wars Christmas special is golden. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's it. Copyright in this country is pretty dog shit, man. Yeah, it needs to be a little more, a little more solid. Yeah. Right well, now, it's sort of a wishy-washy sort of thing. It's not even that it's solid. It's just that like you you come up with an idea and now you have you own that idea forever. That's never the way copyright law was intended, and it's only through the corruption of that that it's gotten to the point where it's seventy plus years and shit. It's like. Oh, I just I just got an email from the uh, Free Music Archive. It talked about stuff that w would have been public domain previously. Oh, really? It's like all the things that would have gone public domain this year. Elvis. Had, yeah, had, had shit not gotten uh, fucked with by yeah. uh, Disney and, and lawyers and shit. Lawyers. Yeah, Disney is like families one of the... families of dead celebrities. Yeah, like yeah, fine. You you know, make money off of it. That's fine. But to destroy someone's livelihood because they commented or used your song or something like that it's so disgusting you know it's like like i understand wanting to protect your brand and stuff but when your brand has been dead for 40 years and yeah. you won't allow someone to use a clip of that music in a video or some shit it's just at a certain point you're infringing on other people's freedoms you know pretty much so what did you hear about the gun Hmm? Did you hear about the guy who was, uh, who opened a Noggles? A what? Noggles, you know, like the old, uh... You're saying this like I should know what the fuck you're talking about, but please hey, go on. You, you've grown up in Southern California. Do you know what a fucking Noggles is? No! Uh, it's a Mexican restaurant. It was like, before uh. Del Taco, there, there was Del Taco and there was Noggles. Really? I don't remember Del that. Del Taco bought Noggles. I don't remember But, like, that. Noggles wasn't a thing for, like, okay. years and years and years. And so some guys like fuck it, like yeah. they haven't been using noggles for yeah. twenty years. So I'll uh, I'll do an old school noggles where he was like dug up some of the recipes for the old noggles food and shit. Yeah, and uh, remade stuff. And I think it was more of like a private thing that he was just doing for people. Yeah, it's like a fun culinary whatever. But I believe it like kind of got out of hand, and I think yeah. he may have actually opened a noggles now. Oh shit! Um, and, and fighting it in court, man. Del Taco's like, no, no, we own noggles, and they're like, no, technically. You bought Noggles and you turned them into Del Tacos, but you haven't used the Noggles yeah. in years. If, so you're you just, if you're just squatting on it, fuck you. Yep, pretty much. Same thing with it, like like Twitter handles and shit. Like if you're like the real Barack Obama and you're not using it, fuck you. Well, even if you are using it, he's the president. He gets it, you know? Yeah, and that's yeah, the yeah. way they look at it now. You know, if you're a celebrity and somebody has your Twitter handle, fuck them. You're, you get it, you know? Because it's like you're like somebody could pretend to be you. They could pretend, you know, to be your persona and shit. Yep. You know, and that's kind of the way it should be. Like, yeah, fuck you if you have, you know, the re the real Bill Cosby or whatever. <laughs> or just Bill Cosby. Just Bill Cosby. Yeah. Yeah. Get back here. Stop moving. I'm trying to shoot you in the head. Of course, um, the parody twitters and stuff are pretty great though. Oh yeah. When I... they're you know known as being parody. Yeah. I don't, uh, I don't follow any of that shit because I can't be bothered. I got enough shit in my life. I don't need to be checking Twitter every day. But some, I do like the idea of people's pets Twitter tweeting and shit. Yeah. Well, like the uh, for we were just talking Star Wars. Um, there's the emo Kylo Ren. Oh, I, Twitter. Wait, emo Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren's pretty emo to begin with. Yeah, but I mean that's his Twitter handle. Oh, okay. <clears throat> and he he. Uh, you know, Which I, I Star, thought he did an amazing job. But go on. Star emo Star Wars related tweets. Nice. Um, I'm not gonna save them all because I'll fuck them up, but they're pretty, yes. pretty, uh, pretty funny. I'll have to check them out. Um, yeah, I thought Kyle Ren was really good. Think things like uh, when I, 
uh, when I tell my dad I love him, I wish he'd just say I love you too. Oh shit! <laughs> love the stuff he says instead of I love you too. Yeah. Like, oh, that's hilarious. Like I love you, Dad. I know. <laughs> um. Yeah. Anyways, it's it's pretty it's pretty funny. So there's there's ones like that that are, are worth it. I know there's like some fake Trump ones that like reply to people and they don't realize it's not Donald Trump, so they oh. get into like flame wars with fake Donald Trump or uh, fake fake company ones. Those are pretty good. Yeah. Like uh, when some somebody will actively complain about something. Like if uh, I think it was the Campbell's one. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure it was it was it was a fake company deal with. Where someone was complaining about like a gay couple in a Campbell's commercial or something. Mm -hmm. So someone made a, like a Flamer Campbell's Twitter account and like was talking shit with those people. Oh, nice. <laughs> like, um, that's that's pretty funny. Brian Redband, who's one of the comedians who hangs out with uh, Joe Rogan a lot, their buddies. Um, when uh, I think it's like Pepsi Spice came out in the early 90s, he um, he made a website called like just Pepsi Spice. Like he got to it before they did back in the day back before you know, like web pages were like a big thing and yeah. so he made a web page called like pepsi spice and he would just blog about his diet of only drinking pepsi spice and like it would degrade it degraded and as it went on he's like my limbs are falling off and my teeth are all falling out and shit <laughs> it's amazing. And i can't i can't stop drinking pepsi spice and they like they filed a cease and desist or some shit and then like at near the end like he just wound up like like I'm too tired to type today or something. And then just like stopped replying, like stop doing posts. <laughs> uh, it's, it's amazing. The man. sad part is he doesn't have the website anymore and he can't find any transcripts or anything. He doesn't oh, remember but... any of it really, but that would be amazing. Uh, go back and read that shit. See, that's, that's, that's the fun stuff, man. That's <laughs> it the, is. the neat stuff that the, the internet can afford, yeah. you know, connection to people. And who was it a while ago? They did a fake chili pepper song. Oh, I don't know this. Up, and it was like sponsored by, it was like fake sponsors and everything. What? It sounded like a chili pepper song. Was it on I'll, YouTube or something? I'll have to look it up. Cause that's effing hilarious. Let's see if I can find it. Where'd that legendary guy go? He's got my legendary gun, I know it. Where you at, legendary guy? Mm. Alright. Back on the trail. Um well, this is it's from 2014. John Daly wrote a fake red hot chili pepper song. <laughs> Abracadabra Lifornia. It's <laughs> 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 amazing. <laughs> too fucking good oh it's too good oh i need to hit i need this in my life now is it downloadable how can i get this as a ringtone um i think it's it's on the youtubes but oh. like the uh the 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 whatever's of it was is that it was like released on a website that like looked like a you know like it was it it looked like it was a legit thing mm -hmm. like sponsored by pepsi for like the super bowl or something oh shit <laughs> so people people were you know commenting about it and oh. you know slamming the chili peppers social media stuff with... oh that's so good oh that's so good oh shit i heard a kamikaze where is this thing i'm like so close to it where is it? 71, 76, 70 go fuck yourself, 83, is it this building? 89, 96, there we go. Yeah, so, so if any of you out there are bored and want a good uh, Chili Peppers parody, check out Abracadabra California. Oh, that's too good. <laughs> 